All right, I've got another video for you guys here. Upgraded uh, the scanner that I had from the last video. I had the Maxi Com. I think it was the MPK808. This is the Maxi Pro MP808. So it's uh, it's able to do more things. It can do actuations and stuff. Right now I'm testing it out on this 2008 Jaguar XF. And uh, I'm trying to just check to see a little bit about its, uh, its ability to uh, check. Uh, it's got an overheating issue. So right now I'm just gonna connect to it, give you a little quick overview, do the automatic stuff, just read the VIN. And uh, I've already tried it on different Mercedes, all my usual stuff on this vehicle works just fine so um, it works for most makes and models just like the last one and uh, it, uh, that, that's what I really like about this one is that it can do the actuations like the other one could just read but I couldn't really tell a control unit to do something like you can roll the window up and down from the tablet here, uh, but it would tell you if it was up or down or going up or down. So um, this one can actually uh, make things do stuff and it can program uh, control units and uh, do different things. If you have uh, questions about what it can and can't do, like programming uh, control units, all probably know more about that when I do that stuff in the future but right now uh, through my research and stuff this was a much better bang for your buck um, it definitely uh, I believe it was a few hundred dollars more or so but uh, it was well worth it for what I'm doing I need those actuations and adaptation capabilities so yeah I recommend this one over that last one that I reviewed so let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'll show you guys again a little bit about what it can do. So I did the little quick test. It scans through all the modules. So I've got an issue here in my powertrain control module. I can just read the codes. And so it's like it tells me that I have some fan performance issues, which is probably why it's overheating. So um, I can go back and I can look at the live data like most scanners can. And I can probably see uh, what the engine temperature and stuff like that is. So let's see what we got here. And so it does show quite a quite a few values. It show everything about the oxygen sensors and positions of different sensors. Looking for engine temperature, there's oil temperature, there's coolant temperature right there, 93 degrees Celsius, so it's 80, 80 degree day today, it says outside it's 80 degrees, it says this thing overheats probably when it gets a little hotter than that and stuff, so fans probably aren't pulling it down, I don't know what the exact spec for JAG is, I know in most Mercedes it's closer to 80 degrees Celsius so it's probably running a little hot right now so I can go back here and then let's see let's see if there's anything else that's relevant so on the Mercedes, it was able to do like the actuation stuff that I needed it to do. On this particular Jaguar, it doesn't look like even when I go to, uh, you know, I go to powertrain, it wasn't there. You probably saw that. And if I go to something less important, like a, you know, a door module, and I go on there, it's still not there. Usually, it'll be a little thing right here that uh, we'll say like actuations or something like that but here you can just read erase codes and view the live data so it does those basic things it may not be able to do it for every model but um, 
I found it for my application and use to be pretty useful. I'll probably show another video of it on like my 211 or 220 over there. But um, yeah, I mean, that's just like a quick overview. It, it, it's literally like the same scanner as the last one with a didn't, different name printed down here. The only thing difference is the software inside it. It's got the same damn uh, stand and cable and everything, same box, so. But that just gives you a little idea.